Good afternoon, my friends. So let me start by wishing you all a happy new year 2022, full of success and health for you and your family. So this is my first video about the weather that I make. Uh, it will be a short one. And I just want to address uh, the following. There is actually a cold wave, or at least an incursion of cold air in the United States, which has been forecasted. Let me just put the temperature uh, globally. We can clearly see that the frost line stretches all over almost to Mexico. We can also see um, cold anomalies over Siberia. So what's happening? Basically, what's causing this? Well, first of all, the aforementioned um, Arctic negative oscillation. And for those of you not familiar with these phases, um, it's actually simple to understand. In a positive Arctic oscillation, the cold air is actually um, confined to the Arctic. As such, um, there will be um, warm averages over the United States and Europe. But in a negative phase, the opposite happens. Um, the Arctic uh, stretches and the cold reaches, as you can see over this line, there are two gates from which uh, the Arctic cold pours in um, over Canada and then goes all the way to the United States or it goes to Europe, uh, usually over Siberia first and then it sort of spills over Europe. So now we are in that negative phase, and I must say it's not really a strong one. I mean, it just dips into that negative territory. Now we can actually see in the forecast that um, this cold air incursion doesn't really last long. It's actually impressive when we look at the temperature anomalies, because we are talking about minus at least 20 degrees below average, and that's very cold for these regions. They are not used to it. So if you live um, in these particular areas of the United States, uh, beware today especially to put warm clothes on, because when we look at the actual temperature, um this is indeed very cold minus 30 is purple so yeah uh, i would advise to take care of yourself put warm clothes uh, so you don't get sick uh, etc so um so we do have this negative phase but what i what i also wanted to show is actually the polar vortex because whenever this happens i noticed that there are changes in the polar vortex and this time um, usually, the cold follows where the polar vortex stretches. And as you can see, it stretches all the way to the United States, but also parts over Siberia. It is located um, way southwards of where it should be. Actually, the core of the polar vortex seems to be a little bit above um, Greenland. This in itself is not normal because it's supposed to be right on top of the arctic and what i wanted to show is now i'm not saying that this is causing it but i find it actually quite interesting to see that usually when this polar vortex stretches and let me just put that in the vertical position uh let me lower this in no it's not this one it's the other one yes this one so that's actually the wandering of the magnetic north pole and let me just put it aside so what we see here is actually this region and if you look closely strangely enough the polar vortex follows this line so this is the direction in which um, the North Pole is wandering. It's heading straight to Siberia. This might have, the this, these stretches of the polar vortex might have something to do with uh, the wandering magnetic North Pole. Um, that's of course just a theory. Maybe there was some other dynamics um, at play, but I thought this is interesting to actually show it.
So um, we do have a negative Arctic oscillation at the moment. Um, I'm not sure whether this will last or become positive again. We will see in the coming days. Um, luckily, we don't have a sudden stratospheric warming like uh, last year. This would have been catastrophic um, in a negative Arctic oscillation because then it would um, intensify these um, incursions of cold air. So for now we are safe. If you look at it, uh, the zonal mean temperatures of the Arctic region, we can see there is a little bit of um, fluctuation, but no major spikes. Looking at the forecast actually uh, of the polar vortex at one millibar, and this is a forecast that stretches all the way to 250 hours. So I think this is uh, one week or so we can see that no major uh, warming is actually forecasted. In fact, if anything else, um, the polar vortex will remain quite normal, according at least to the um, forecast. And if I look at the 10 millibar, I can see the same trend. So now you can see that it's elongated um, in this position, but I believe this will change. There is a little bit of warming forecasted this is normal for this period of the year but nothing really major but do keep in mind this is only a forecast this can change completely um, we will see um, and as always time will tell so if you haven't done it by now don't forget to subscribe to my channel hit the like button if you actually enjoyed the video and we will end as usual with a philosophical quote this time it speaks about esteem. So the best conduct a man can adopt is that which gains him the esteem of others without depriving him of his own. And this is the most important part, without depriving him of his own. So basically, this means that if you have to do bad things or things that are contrary to um, your moral beliefs, bad things, uh, don't do it to get the esteem of others. Um, only um if you can do it with good deeds then it is good um to actually uh, do good things and get the esteem of others but not um in the opposite situation so this is it uh, i want to thank you for watching my video and i guess we see each other next time thank you bye bye